Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 15 today. We're looking at different lost things. We had the lost sheep yesterday, today, verses 8 to 10, the lost coin. Let's look at it. Jesus teaches this, Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. So, friends, we had the lost sheep. He had been in the father's house, and now he was lost, and he's coming back. Now we have the lost coin. And the lost coin, you know, you could imagine if you lost a coin. Let's say you had a quarter. You lost a quarter. Uh, that quarter doesn't know it's lost. It doesn't know it belongs to you. It doesn't know anything. It's oblivious. This this woman had the coins. Now, back then, you'd for, for your wedding, uh, a woman would receive a, a, a dowry of coins, and so we have, uh, this is kind of like having, you know, the, the old wedding dress. You know, you've got something very, very valuable here. It's very, not only just emotional value, but this was actual monetary value. She lost her coin and she's looking for it and she searches the whole place. And when she finally finds it, what does she do? Does she just put it in its place? No, she, she brings everybody together and they have a big, they have a big meal. They have a big appreciation, a celebration because I found the coin that was lost. So every time there's something or someone who was lost, and here these are all pictures of someone who's lost, even though we use coins and different illustrations, the idea of something being lost and found, when it's found, what do we find all through here is rejoicing, great rejoicing, great rejoicing indeed. Likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. We kind of look at this, we do a big meeting, we have maybe one person gets baptized, one person receives Jesus, and we kind of feel like, man, that was a disaster. We, we, didn't, we didn't have a big number. Well, you might think of it as a disaster, but there's rejoicing in heaven even for one. That's the way God is. Are you the one? Are you the lost coin? I hope not. But if you are a lost coin, I would appeal to you today. Look into the Gospels. Find out about Jesus. Give yourself to him fully and it will be the best decision of your life. The best decision in my life I ever made. And I mean counting all decisions I've ever made. The very absolute best decision, no question in my mind, becoming a Christian. Absolutely. The best thing that ever happened to me. Become a follower of Jesus. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, help us. We might be very lost and not really realize the degree of lostness. Uh, but we are many people lost. They don't even have meaning. They're, they're worse than lost. They don't even know what the meaning that goes with life is. But Lord, you give us salvation through Jesus if we'll just pay attention and get a better grip on the world around us and our own condition. Help us, Lord. Save us. Transform us. Bring us back. But we are so valuable to you. Thank you for this fact. Change us and pardon our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, the Lord loves you dramatically. There's not words for it, uh, but, but he loves you and, and he loves the people that you and I both know that aren't gathered into the fold yet. So may, may the Lord find not only his lost sheep, but his lost coins. And now in the next few mornings, uh, the next actually 10 or 11 mornings, we're going to go through the, the last part of chapter 15 uh, the lost son. And we're going to go through that very painstakingly, 11 different hits. So join me tomorrow morning as we start in with, um, in some detail here, with the lost son, because there's a lot of lost sons and daughters of God that need to find their way back home to the Father's house. God bless you today.